More pain to talk about for you, this time at the airports, because as we know, American Airlines had to cancel a lot of their flights this past weekend. About 1,500 or so had to be scrubbed. Looks like there are some more cancellations today, but they're trying to do something to, to ease the situation. Just yeah, get bit. more workers back. Right. You were just talking about Muni being affected. Yeah. So think about American Airlines. Mm -hmm. Is There's many, many more employees. Mm -hmm. And with those COVID rules, a lot of them were out. Now they're expected to come back. So we'll see if it's going to make a difference. Crown Force Sarah Stinson is following this live at SFO. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, Halloween weekend turned out to be a mess. If you were flying on American, thousands of those flights canceled. And uh, hopefully not too bad today. The spokesperson for American Airlines said there could be some residual effects. And we're starting to see a little bit of it locally and a lot of it nationwide. Take a look at your screen. You can see what we've been tracking. We've been tracking the latest for you. And uh, not a ton has changed for us here locally. We checked on FlightAware, the flight tracking website at SFO. About five flights have been canceled so far. Zero at Oakland Airport and one at the San Jose Airport. Across the country, though, 301 flights have been canceled by American Airlines. That's up from 289 when we started the show this morning at 5 o'clock. Over 1,900 flights in total by all airlines nationwide have been canceled. During Halloween weekend, as I said, people were stranded at airports across the country after American Airlines canceled over 1,600 flights. The airline pointing to weather conditions in Texas and a shortage of flight attendants. Southwest also had cancellations yesterday. They have some today as well. The airline just three weeks ago canceled thousands of flights as well. Well, citing weather and shortage of staff. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, a lot of people are asking, is this going to be a trend? Is this going to continue to happen? Well, the good news is a spokesperson for American Airlines says starting today, the airline has 1,800 flight attendants returning to work after being placed on leave during the pandemic due to that low travel demand that we saw. The airline is also hiring 600 new flight attendants who plan to start in December. They're hiring more pilots, more staff in general to keep up with not only the increased travel demand, but also just keep up with, uh, you know, having more people out there flying. It's, it's definitely a big Big change from 2020, but uh, hopefully, you know, staffing up helps with this uh, flights, with the fact that they have been canceling flights. It's, it has not been easy for people. Nobody likes to sleep in an airport. Now, in 30 minutes, I'll have a report for you, and I'm talking about how much it could cost you to fly for Thanksgiving and for Christmas, and flight prices are going up. Don't buy today. I'll have more details in about 30 minutes. For now, live at SFL, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All Thanks, right. Sarah. And Thank this you, is Sarah. pretty much like what we saw Southwest go through, right? Remember, it was, I don't know, maybe a month ago. Yeah, they had... The same kind of crunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, three weeks ago, exactly what I was saying. So a lot of airlines struggling right now. Hopefully we can get it together because it's November 1st. We're heading into that right. holiday season. All right. Yeah, Thanks, well, Sarah. I guess airline by airline, they go through this. And they do. They'll get back on track. Yep. 7-Eleven right now. And...